Hey guys, how are you doing today? Uh, it's Justin here, and in today's video, I'm going to make a, a little more personal vlog, vlog to you guys. And uh, it's about minimalism, okay? Um, so I'm just walking around here in my condo. Uh, you guys know I live with uh, Nick, my, uh, my partner at Let's Get Girls, and uh, he's uh, my roommate. He's not home today, but um, <laughs> it would be great if I had a chance to give him the chance to talk about minimalism. But um, a little bit strange. I'm going to just peek. Hope, hope Nick doesn't get pissed off at this, but I'm going to peek into his room real quick. And uh, you'll see it's a little bit messy. It's a little bit messy, but there's not much going on here, okay? And um, that kind of brings us back to the topic of minimalism. Uh, what is minimalism? Minimalism is living super simplistic, okay? So I'm going to show you guys how I personally live. And um, you know what's funny? Because even on YouTube, and uh, a lot of people think I live this crazy celebrity type lifestyle, which arguably, uh, I mean, from my standpoint, not necessarily, but from a lot of people's standpoint, yes, right? Um, cool club connections, tons of hot girls all the time, right? Uh, just financially free, uh, especially considering I'm only 22 years old and um, I, I have a fair amount of savings, which, so, so I'm starting to learn uh, more about business and getting into investing. And, uh, you know, doing okay for myself at 22 and uh, just really, like obviously, uh, we, we teach pickup here uh, on our YouTube channel. So what we teach is you, you learn how to pick up chicks. And obviously to teach that stuff, you, you want to master it. And uh, we've definitely reached a point of mastery level where we're just like getting crazy results with women. And uh, it, it's kind of cool because it's like a pretty well-balanced lifestyle. Uh, you, know, you know what, uh, maybe it'd be more, even more well-balanced if I um, could like take a step back from the women and get um, like finances and business and uh, even health nutrition, it's okay, but it could be much better. Uh, today, I actually did some yoga. I actually did a, a yoga class. Anyway, so I did a, I did a yoga class, and it's uh, not only is that like fitness, also good for your body, also a great place to meet chicks. <laughs> also, it's um, it's pretty similar to meditation, so it's good for your mind as well. So, what? Why am I rambling about all this? Well, one reason I've been able to be successful in certain aspects of my life, especially uh, I'd say especially with business and finances, uh, but even women as well, uh, is because of the concept of minimalism. Now. I want you to take a look into my own personal living space, okay? So this is it. This is my kitchen, pretty basic. All this stuff, straight up, like I use it sometimes. It actually belongs to my roommates, Nick and Dave, right? We got, that's it, that's my kitchen. That's pretty much it, oven, microwave, fridge. Even if you pop in the fridge, it's um, a bunch of, Nick sells these, this herb from Indonesia called Kratom. Kratom is, um, yeah, you got Kratom, okay? And there's not even that much food in it, right? It's because uh, we like to live super minimalistically, right? So um, everything I do, it's very in the moment. So that way, if I decide, hey, I want to fly over to New York, I'm actually planning on, uh, I'm looking into the possibility, and I'd say like 60% chance going to New York um, next weekend, it's Sunday. <laughs> so like in five days, just popping over to New York because I randomly decided, you know what, I want to go to New York next week. Why am I able to do that on such a whim? Or why I'm able to just pop over into another city or fly over, book a flight off my phone, and uh, just do my thing. Earlier this year, I was in Australia. I was traveling a lot, and um, I didn't even have a laptop because I. Uh, to to <laughs> you guys are gonna get the point in a second of why I'm just rambling, uh, but it's minimalism. Okay, I lost my backpack, and it had like almost like not almost, but like almost essentially everything I own in a backpack: passport, wallet, laptop, camera equipment, every like everything fucking important to me in one bag. Like the only thing I didn't lose was like my hard drive, my phone, and my credit card. So I wasn't that fucked, but I essentially lost everything uh, that I owned. And it kind of just ripped me apart. And I was like, fuck, like this hurts. Like I, I literally was feeling depressed and stressed and overwhelmed. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Like, what do I do? And I realized I don't have to do anything. Like I'm still alive. I'm still here. I'm not fucking dead. I'm not, my arm isn't broken off. Right, and I, I still have access to my funds from my bank, 
And uh, you know, I was able to figure it out, even though I'm in a foreign country on the other side of the world, because I'm here in beautiful Toronto, Canada. It's 10 p.m., so you can't see the beautiful view outside. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe you kind of can. It's really nice out. It's um, really, <laughs> it's dark, but we live on a condo on the lake. Why am I able to uh, not only afford this lifestyle, but essentially, I guess my best way to put it is live such an, uh, an amazing lifestyle where I can just be super spontaneous, go for it, whatever I want, right? I want to go to New York, fly over to New York. I remember uh, when I was in Brisbane, Australia, visiting a couple of my buddies, and I wasn't enjoying Brisbane, and so I decided, hey, I'm just going to fucking fly over to Sydney two days from now, and I just fucking popped over to Sydney, right? And uh, then I ended up uh, opening up new opportunities because of that, just because I my, my ability to just be free, be able to kind of be a free spirit and go where I want to go. So I'm going to show you my, my own um, living accommodations. I don't have a bedroom. And uh, it sounds really fucking weird, uh, but I actually developed this concept from one of my mentors, Joseph Rodriguez. You can check him out on YouTube. Uh, jo just search up Joseph Rodriguez. He does amazing book reviews. He's got about um, well over 20,000 subscribers now. And uh, he's one of my own mentors and uh, good friends. And whenever I get a chance to uh, chat with him, it it's like just an overwhelming epiphanies of um, <laughs> just like awesomeness, right? And I got this concept from him of essentially living in the living room, okay? Because uh, what this does for me, personally guys, I'll be honest, I, I suffered with depression my whole life and it, seeing me on YouTube, you would never think that. You never fucking think this guy gets depressed, he's got girls, uh, he, he's financially stable, he's happy, right? But um, you know what? I, I realize like, unless I'm constantly on purpose, have something to do all the time, right? Such as filming this video, it's 10 p.m. at night, I'm like, Fuck, I got another couple hours to kill before I pass the fuck out. Let's uh, make a bunch of YouTube videos and then fucking edit them, right? And uh, unless I'm constantly doing shit, taking action on purpose, on top of that giving and sharing and understanding my own value and sharing it to people and uh, that kind of thing, me and you, like, you're gonna get depressed. And that's, that's what happens, especially uh, as a, a human in 2017, right? Because think back to, like, the caveman days, right? Where you're constantly hunting and gathering and prepping because you never know like if a fucking storm's gonna come because you live in a fucking hut with your little village and all that weird shit right so we got a lot more certainty and a lot more safety these days and if you're not it's almost like your biology where if you're not taking action uh doing stuff all the time you're gonna get depressed and that's why some days i i'll be honest even throughout the years running let's get girls and running these businesses i've fallen into deep uh pretty fucked up layers of depression you know i've i've fallen into a deep like fucked up um uh, and that's when, that's really when you get negative, when you end up fighting with family, fighting with friends, right? But um, well, one thing that definitely, like, absolutely stops me from getting depressed and skyrockets my uh, levels of taking action, which later skyrockets my levels of results with women and business and health and fitness and all that kind of thing, is waking up early, okay? And that's why, that's one reason, one reason I have my bed in the living room, okay? Because the sun hits my fucking face and... At the very latest, usually I'll be I'll be up uh, or uh, like by like 12 p.m. But even more so than that, I try to wake up like 8, 9 uh, a.m. Sorry, I said p.m. I meant yeah. So so okay. So 12 p.m. latest, uh, 9 a.m. Uh, is usually around the time I wake up if I have nothing going on. Oftentimes I wake up like 6, 7 a.m. and I just try to get shit going. Um, it would honestly, I don't really work out in the mornings, but I used to, and it would be much more beneficial to add that to your routine. Uh, but the reason, the biggest reason I have my, just a bad living room is the concept of minimalism, okay? Living below your means. What will this do for you? Number one, humble the fuck out of you, right? You'll, you'll, you ever hear about these people winning the lottery, and then they're like, fuck, fuck this, quit my job, and then uh, <laughs> they ended up buying a fucking bigger house, and a bigger house, and a few years they run out of money. They run into finances. And even, even them spending all that money, it was like they weren't even happy having more money in a, in a weird way. It, it causes problems where your relatives are like, hey, give me some money. Uh, your friends are like trying to get money out of you all the time. And you're like, who's my real friends? And it, it, it's weird because like, if you hear about um, people who actually win the lottery, do your research on it, hop in Google and read stories about this where people actually suffer from depression because of it. So what minimalism allows you to do is while being um, successful in your life, whether that, like your own degree of success, right? But uh, like monetarily, socially, spiritually, whatever your uh, definition of success is, it keeps you humble, okay? Uh, so straight up, just uh, just a fucking bed 
in the living room. Okay, just the bed in the living room. And um, yes, I did have, my parents also live in my city. I'm in Toronto right now. And um, I, I visit them, I try to visit them once every couple weeks, but sometimes it's like once a month. And um, yeah, like they have a great home, a nice home I grew up in on, on the outskirts of the city. So it's like deep in the suburbs. And I had a bedroom there. And my, my mom fucking called me uh, a couple months ago and she's like, yo, our house is on fucking fire, right? And I was like, what the fuck, right? <laughs> and um, it was fine. Like, nothing was too damaged. Everything got put into storage. And, you know, I told my parents, hey, like, all my stuff there, just fucking throw it out or sell it. Like, I don't need it. I don't fucking need any of it. So um, I'll show you guys my closet and I'll show you guys what's under my bed. So that's it. All I have is a fucking bed and then my closet here, okay? Give me two seconds, guys. All right. Check this out. So all we got here, coat, blazer, pants, belts, sweaters. It's fucking cold out. <laughs> and uh, dress shirts, t-shirts, right? I, I did have a lot more uh, clothing, but uh, again, it's like in some kind of storage facility somewhere in the middle of nowhere uh, because uh, my parents' house caught on fire. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's that. And that's it. So pretty limited selection. I've got three pairs of jeans that I really wear and then like, I think like one pair of shorts, uh, or like two pairs of shorts, right? And um, yeah, no, I do have a lot of shoes. So <laughs> maybe like fashion-wise, I'm not that minimalistic. I've got one pair of shoes there, and then I've got a lot like shoes, right? Underwears, socks, a bag full of underwear, socks. Very minimalistic. At the same time, you do like let's say you're talking to a girl, approaching a girl, uh, closing a business deal, right? Let, let's say you're doing sales or uh, sales for a company. Right, you, you don't wanna be dressing and looking like a fucking scrub. You wanna carry yourself with a certain degree of class. You wanna be able to walk with confidence and uh, fashion is a huge fucking pillar in that, right? So I got a bunch of fucking dope ties, scarves and that kind of thing, right? So it's still minimalistic, all this will fit in a suitcase. It will, like I could stuff this all into one um, large, but it uh, can't fit into a suitcase. But that's it, essentially my clothes, that's, that's literally all I fucking own. Then there's this camera I'm talking into, Right, my laptop, my beautiful fucking MacBook, which by the way, I only bought this in August and right now it's November, uh, which means from January when I lost my old laptop till fucking November, I didn't have a laptop. I was making videos, editing videos and uploading them off my fucking iPhone. So I was literally like all the content you actually scroll through uh, on YouTube. I was literally from, from January till about the beginning of May were filmed and edited on my cell phone. After that, I started using my buddy Dave's laptop because uh, uh, we moved in together. So yeah, I've lived with him for about six months uh, here in, in another place. And uh, for a couple months, I would use his laptop and it came to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna buy my own for, for the business, right? And uh, so that's it. Again, you don't even need a fucking laptop. And I was able to just crush with business doing stuff off my phone, just crushing it. So in truth, like, unless you're doing like, like really serious business kind of stuff. Like my, my, my stuff, like I, I don't really need to, cause I'm a personal coach. I, I teach pickup as a business. I'm a personal consultant. So um, essentially it's just like, I, I can do it off my phone. Uh, it, it does make it a little bit tough, but um, like a laptop's just kind of an extra bonus, but don't necessarily need it, right? And um, I was able to just absolutely fucking crush it uh, with the business comparable to last year while not even having a fucking laptop, okay? So, as you see, like it's just clothes, a bed, some blankets, right? And then under my bed, literally just like a bag full of random shit, okay? So um, that's it. It's, this is like essentially all I fucking own. I've got like a random horse mask for Halloween. Got um, <laughs> a brush. I don't have a dresser with like all my toothbrush, toothpaste kind of stuff. I just have it in a gym bag right here. So like I've got like deodorant stick, toothbrush just all in a pocket, right? I've got like weird enough, um, I found uh, some fucking Pokemon cards. My one, again, when my parents' house uh, like got damaged, it's it's like fine, right? It's not like burnt down, it's getting renovated and all that kind of thing. But um, when it got damaged, my sister actually found my Pokemon cards from childhood and put them aside. And she's like, "You should sell these." So I've got these here. Besides that, I've got floss sticks, and just a shit ton of paperwork for various things, right? Like a, the lease for this condo, for example. And just like little things, like my glasses, condoms, things like that. And that, that's essentially all I fucking own. And if I look under the bed, it's just like things like slippers, right? My laundry. Now, <laughs> just, yeah, it's just like little things, okay? But now think about it. All of this shit, like not, not including the clothes, not including the bed, everything fits into a backpack, right? So my laptop, my phone, my chargers, um, 
essentially all fits in your backpack. And that's why I'm able to just fucking so quickly, spontaneously, it's like, hey, you know what? I want to go to New York on Friday, throw anything I would need to backpack. And now I've got like a kind of home base, I guess you could say, here. Uh, but let's say I've even lost this place and I just want to travel for a year, which is what I'm pr planning on doing. Planning on doing a Europe, uh, a Europe tour uh, next June. More, more details about that coming soon. Let's say I want to just say, fuck it, <laughs> be a fucking nomad, travel, right? Let, so if you don't have family uh, in the city you live in, like let's say you have friends. Just throw out all the old shit you don't need because like, like look around, like sit, sit, stop. We're going to stop, okay? And you're gonna look around. Look that way, okay? Look that way. Look around, okay? And tell me what you see. I'm gonna bet that you just see a ton of fucking junk that you don't need. Just a shit ton of random shit that you um, that you bought, or someone gave it to you as a gift, or that like just stuff from years and years ago, like ten years ago. And you're like like a little fucking teddy bear. You don't need it. You don't fucking need it. It might be your childhood teddy bear, and you might be like, I can't throw out teddy, right? But um, no, you can, because you don't need it. Ask yourself, is this helping me to further my goals? Is this helping me further my purpose? What benefit does it give it to me? And if you can't fully answer these questions, right? You shouldn't fucking have it. Like even this fucking horse mask, like I'm, I'm very close to throwing it out because I'm like, I don't need it, right? Now this, this mouthwash keeps my breath fresh, keeps away gingivitis, I believe, right? This lotion, we keep the stuff around. In fact, we buy more when it runs out, right? My laptop, yes, it helps me um, with business and marketing and all that kind of stuff, right? But uh, for example, like these Pokemon cards, it doesn't fucking help me. I've got like, <laughs> I've just got like a shit ton of Pokemon cards in a bag. It doesn't help me. So I'm gonna sell it or I'm gonna throw it out. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I'm gonna get the fuck rid of it because I don't need it. And what does this do when you, walk, when you bring your girl home? There's less shit distracting her. Uh, I remember, um, one of the months, like, we, fuck, we were crushing it. I was, um, I was back from Australia for a month last December, and the results we had with women was like insane, like fucking insane. And it like, in a way, it set the standard for uh, what our results should be like. And it was just insane. And um, weird enough, I was living with my parents for that one month, but not really because of uh, my minimalistic kind of like on the go attitude. I would, I would come home like once every three days. I would just crash at different girls' places. It's fucking like, weird, man. And um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so essentially, I, I would just keep everything in a backpack, and I, I'd crash at Nick's place sometimes as well. And we would just constantly pull girls to Nick's place, Nick's little shitty basement apartment. Now he lives with me, but this before he lived in this like small like. It was smaller than this kitchen. This is a really small fucking kitchen here. And it was like, I wouldn't say half the size, maybe like um, two thirds of the size of this kitchen. Very small, very small basement apartment. Just, just a fucking bed. There's nothing to do. There was like literally nothing to do. There's like garbage everywhere. He was, it, it was so gross too, that it's like, you don't want to hang out on the other side of the room and there's nothing to do. All there is is a fucking bed. So when we would pull girls back there, it's like instant clothes, right? It's cause like, why not? There's literally nothing to do. The girl and you are bored, right? Why does this minimalistic attitude help you get these get better results with women? Cause um, I mean, think about it. The girl's not stupid, right? You're not tricking her into taking her home, right? Like chances are when you take her home, like she kind of knows like, oh, I'm going home with a fucking guy. And um, obviously you gotta be calibrated and comfortable and empathetic and make sure she feels comfortable and safe and never too pushy. Like for example, I had a friend over last night. We didn't even do anything. Cause she told me like, yo, I have a boyfriend. And I'm like, that's cool, let's just fucking watch a movie and pass down. And then we, we hung out, chilled for a couple hours in the afternoon, got some food, and, <laughs> and then I went to yoga, right? And so, so the whole point I'm trying to make is like having this super minimalistic attitude when it comes to possessions allows you further results, not only game, but in life, in business, in your career. Because there's a saying, right? Like the things you own eventually end up owning you, right? It's like, do these headphones help me further my purpose. Yes, they do, because it helps me uh, check the audio quality when I'm editing videos. It helps me listen to motivational speeches or audiobooks when I'm in the gym, right? Does this sweater help me further my purpose? Yes, it does, it keeps me warm. It's fucking cold out in Toronto, right? Does this shirt, do these pants? Yes, these sweatpants are great for the gym. These socks are good. And when something or someone or anything doesn't help you further your purpose, you gotta fucking cut it out. 
You have to cut it the fuck out, okay? And um, that's, that's how it is. You know, you, you go to like a nice fancy fucking restaurant and you get some nice steak. It's like high quality premium steak. It's really thin because they cut out all the bullshit. Like all that fatty, <laughs> nasty shit that comes along with the steak. They cut it out. And that steak, even though it's smaller, is more expensive. I hope that makes sense to you guys. And that's why I, literally everything I fucking, like besides my clothes, that could fit in just like one suitcase, right? And uh, just like my equipment, my camera, laptop, passport, all that kind of stuff can just fit in a, in a backpack. Literally just like a small little fucking Jansport backpack, right? It can all fit in this, right? So I, I can decide, do I want it in a gym bag? Do I want it in a backpack? Right, all of that. I could literally live my fucking life as a homeless person and still be successful uh, just because I'm, I'm, it's so minimalistic, right? But, I, I mean, maybe it's a big exaggeration. Maybe like being homeless would be pretty fucked up. <laughs> but um, I, I hope like the point I'm trying to make to you is by being minimalistic, it allows me to further focus on my goals, right? It allows me to further, uh, it, it's almost like there's, you, you know they say um, your environment, like whatever's around you is kind of a, a reflection of what's going on in your head right now. And check it out, like our place is fairly clean. Like, I don't know, it might not seem clean. There's um, some of Nick's stuff for his, um, his, his uh, business. But um, our kitchen is very fucking clean. Even like my living space, besides like the shit I just messed up for this video, it is very fucking clean. So what being minimalistic does for you is it gets rid of all this shit in your brain. Uh, and, like the stuff that would be like manifesting itself physically around you you get rid of that shit. Not only can you sell it and make more fucking money and use that to invest or further your purpose, right? Like, you have more money so you can eat better food, right? Do you guys know in America, <laughs> the, the, the lowest income uh, people have the highest obesity rate, right? But number two, they have the lowest nutritional uh, value rate. Like, it, it's like young children who are obese, but malnourished because all they can afford is shitty, not nutritious food and then they have to eat a lot of it because they still feel hungry, right? So you're eating lots and lots and lots of fucking really bad, nasty, shitty food, right? But if they had more money, they could invest in better food, but they wouldn't be getting fat, putting on weight uh, because the food fills them up because it's nutritious, right? That's, um, <laughs> that's like basic nutrition, right? And having more money allows the opportunity to do that. Having more money allows the opportunity to travel. And what traveling would, would do for you is not only do you see new things, meet new people, but actually helps you understand different cultures, which allows you to open up your, your mind to new ways of thinking. Now that could further, that, that's an investment, right? Because that could further help you, let's say, uh, improve your career or uh, improve in your own business. Let's say if you have a business or you decide to start a business, it can help you uh, <laughs> do that. So. That's, that's about it. I hope I, I've hammered the point into you guys about minimalism and why I literally fucking own nothing, right? It's like, I have a Mercedes Benz that my father gave to me and I told him, I don't want it, right? Because I don't really like to fucking, personally, I don't like to drive. I don't need to drive either because I live in Toronto. It's a very strong commuter city, right? And you know what? I should get my driver's license back because when you leave Toronto, you're kind of fucked, right? But you know what? I decide, hey, I, things are minimalistic. Uh, and that's how they should be. And that's how you'll be successful, you know? I don't want the things I own to end up owning me, and I hope the same for you. So um, I would say, give yourself a little challenge. What I want you guys to do is, I want you to look around your room, look around your house, look around your apartment, wherever you live, whatever you're doing, look around and think, think about it. Like, is this helping me? Does this blender help me? If it doesn't, we're literally gonna fucking throw it out. And um, I know one of these is like a broken blender, so we should literally fucking throw it out right now. And so I'm gonna get on that after I finish this video, okay? And I look around and I'm like, I think to myself, right? Like, if this isn't helping me, if this isn't helping me further my purpose, what I want, and obviously you gotta know what you want to actually understand this, but if something is not helping you further who you are as a man or woman, as a person, cut it out, because there's no point, it's only gonna hold you back. Okay, anyway guys, thank you for <laughs> being with me on this long rant. I'm very tired, so I'm probably gonna get some editing done and go to sleep, but I fucking love you guys, and this is very personal content to me. So, 
uh, I hope you understand how minimalism can actually help you overcome depression just from like, I mean, it won't cure it, but it'll help you stay away from it almost by not being distracted by random fucking things. And then you have more time to take action on your own goals, which definitely is one thing that could help you get away from depression. But on top of that, help you pull girls in the long run. Uh, and uh, even crush your business. And I absolutely do, do believe that. Uh, so if you're m more interested in this concept, I'm gonna link a video in the description uh, by my good buddy, Joseph Rodriguez, and I highly suggest you guys subscribe to him. Really cool fucking dude. And uh, it's just about um, minimalism and how to live minimalistically. And uh, on top of all that, guys, please subscribe to us and be part of our community. Join our Facebook group, Let's Get Girls Community on Facebook. And feel free to reach out to me. Uh, all my social media is in the description, my Instagram, my Snapchat, add me on Snapchat, you don't want to miss out on those, and uh, my Facebook, feel free to add me, follow me, again, join Let's Get Girls community, our Facebook community, and subscribe to Let's Get Girls, I want you guys part of our community, because I want to grow with you guys, without you guys, I find it much more harder to grow, it, isn't that weird, like, almost like, through being all fucking minimalistic, and uh, living this minimalist life, I have more time to, uh, like, I don't need to clean up as much, or fucking organized shit and then and more time to make videos and because of that then I, I build a strong community with you guys and because of that like I ended up meeting a lot of you guys and you guys become my friends and my fucking in a way like my family you know it, it's like it's like we share a brotherhood and you know, you know what? it's a beautiful thing so I'll talk to you guys soon take care peace